And here I have one and a half kg of Napa cabbage. And I will divide it into quarters and cut it into bite size. And now it's time to wash our cabbage. And after washing, I will throw it away some of the cabbage. Putting salt by batch to make sure that the salt is spread out even. And after adding the salt, we gave our cabbage a nice toss and leave it for 2 hours. So this is 1 cup of water and 2 tablespoons of rice flour. In making the rice paste, we have to stir it continuously. And at this point, we can already add our 1 tablespoon of white sugar. Our rice paste is ready. We will set it aside and let it cool down. For my kimchi, I am using pickled radish or you can always use the Korean radish. And basically, we'll be cutting all our vegetables into strips. And here I have my spring onions, but if you have garlic chives, you can always put some of it.
So here I'm just cutting this stem into half so it has the same thickness as the leaves. And I suggest to only use white onion in making your kimchi. And now we're ready to make our kimchi paste. First, the rice porridge. And I'm adding our ginger garlic, our white onion, one tablespoon of white sugar, and three tablespoons of fish sauce. You can always make your kimchi paste in a blender or if you have a food processor that would be better. And now it's time to add our hot pepper flakes. One cup. You can always make it one in half or two to make it more spicy. Our kimchi paste is ready and this is the consistency that we are looking for. And after soaking, we need to wash our cabbage again to lessen the salt absorption. And now I'm keeping it in a strainer to drain the excess water. And now we will mix all our vegetables. At this point, I'm just adding half of my kimchi paste. And by the way guys, don't forget to wear your gloves if you're ready to mix your kimchi paste.
and make it a habit that you dry out your container before mixing. The cabbage here are properly drained and ready to be mixed. And now I'm adding the remaining kimchi paste that I have. And mix it for one last time and we are done. And guys, one last thing, make sure that you are using an airtight container when you are fermenting kimchi. And to make sure that there's no air going through, I seal it with a cling wrap and then cover it with a lid. And now all our kimchi are packed and ready to be fermented. Thank you.